Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Storytime with Teacher Andrea. I'm glad you joined me here today and I'm pretty excited to share this book with you that I've chosen to read because it's a new book for me. It's actually a book that I got from a library in Canada and it's called The Little Hummingbird. It's a story that's actually based on a South American indigenous folk tale. So it's a traditional story that has a really simple but really important message. And I hope you like it. So The Little Hummingbird, written by Michael Nichol and illustrated by Ya Gula Nas. The Little Hummingbird. Some beautiful indigenous artwork here. You can see the different animals in the forest. That's the little hummingbird. Here is the story of the great forest that caught on fire. The terrible fire raged and burned. All of the animals were afraid and fled from their homes. The elephant and the tiger ran. The beaver scurried and the frog leapt away. Above them, the birds flew in a panic. Remember, the forest is the home for these animals. So if the forest is on fire, it means their house is on fire. The creatures huddled at the edge of the forest and watched, all except for one. Little Hummingbird did not abandon the forest. She flew as fast as she could to the stream. She picked up a single drop of water in her beak. Little Hummingbird flew back and let the water fall onto the ferocious fire. She dashed to the stream and brought another drop, and she continued back and forth, back and forth. The other animals watched Little Hummingbird, and they were frightened. What can I do? sobbed Rabbit. The fire is hot and I am scared. This fire is so big, howled Wolf. And I am so small. I can't do anything about this fire, croaked Frog. Sometimes we can feel like a problem is so big that we we're so small and, and helpless. That's how these animals are feeling. My wings will burn, cried Owl. Little Hummingbird continued her work. She flew quickly, picking up more water and putting it drop by drop onto the burning forest. Finally, Big Bear said, Little Hummingbird, what are you doing? I'm sure they're watching her and wondering, why? Why is she doing this drop by drop? She must realize one drop of water can't put out an entire forest fire. Little Hummingbird looked at the other animals. She said, I'm doing everything I can. So that's the end of the story. There's a message following this story from Wangari Mapai, who's from Kenya in Africa. And his message is to do the best you can. 
So he said nearly 30 years ago, he planted seven trees in Kenya. And since then, he's worked with thousands of others who have planted more, more than 30 million trees. So one of the greatest lessons he learned is that all people, young or old, big or small, girl or boy, have power. We can achieve the life we want for ourselves and our families when we pay attention to protecting the environment. We must not wait for others to do it. So each of us can do our best. We can do all that we can. That's the message from the little hummingbird. One drop of water won't put out a forest fire. But if she continues to work hard, if we all continue to do our best, at least we're trying and at least we're taking care of our world, our environment. And if we all do that, we can make a difference. I hope you enjoyed the story today. I found this a really touching and really inspirational story. And I hope you did too. Until I see you again, I hope you keep enjoying stories and keep on reading. And do remember to let me know down below in the comments what you think about the stories, because I do like to hear from you. Take care, friends. Assalamu alaikum. Bye.